Hello, hello. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for asking. And you? I'm good. Thank you. It is Wednesday, my guys. That means tomorrow is our Friday. Es jueves, pero es nuestro viernes. Good night, Emma. Because tomorrow is the last day of the week for us. All right, so we are just going to let everyone know that we are in class. One question, was one question, teacher. Yeah. Tomorrow is day the Diane. No, no, no. Es no, el no. último día. Next week. Okay, thank you. Of course. Yeah, mañana vamos a terminar section four, guys. Like you can see here. We are right now in section four. Next week, I would like for us to finish section four tomorrow and start section five, porque la, uh, the next week is the end of the module, guys. So that means que I would like for us to finish section five on Wednesday, que terminaremos la section five el miércoles, so that on Thursday, el jueves, podemos hacer una review de todo, todo, todo el module, de las preguntas que you guys have, and review the final exam so that we can make sure there are no doubts and that you are ready to take that test. So now, guys, we are eight people right now. So I do want to ask you, uh, we have Brenda, Aime, Emma, Hugo, Jennifer, Stanley, and Susan. So guys, allow me to ask you, uh, por donde van en la platform, guys? <clears throat> Me, section four. Excellent, section four. Perfect, Google. How about the rest? Okay. Section four, two. Excellent. Quien se escribe en el chat? Let's see. Five. Excellent, Stanley. Perfect. Si se pueden adelantar, there's no problem, guys. Si ya tienen las preguntas listas para mí. Excellent. All right, guys, so at uh, this point, como ya mañana terminamos section four, it is very important que ahorita como mínimo, como mínimo, ya estemos terminando el midterm test, ya lo hayamos hecho, el midterm test. So section four, two, excellent, Emma. Perfect. Vamos al día, entonces. Uh, at least the majority of us. Ya estamos 12 personas. So guys, how are you doing on the platform? Por donde vamos en la platform? Good night, teacher. Hi, good night. All right, guys. So it is 9 p.m. with zero six minutes. Perfect. And yesterday. Oh, no terminamos de revisar el exercise, right? No. Yeah, that's true. Recuerden me, guys. Siempre que sea así, recuerden me. Okay, we're going to do that. Before we do anything else, we're going to go ahead and do that. ¿En cuál nos quedamos, guys? Do you remember? Do you remember? Okay, here it is. 11. 11? Yes. Excellent. Oh, yeah, 11, Italy. Uh -huh. It's the most famous actor. Yeah, that's true. Perfect. So we just have a couple more to go. And we are 12 people right now. So that's enough, I think, to finish this. And so that we can begin on the next topic for today, guys, and finish section four tomorrow. All right. So can I please have... Susan, help me with number 12. Hey, 
Hello. Uh, number 12. English is easier than Italian. That's correct. So thank you very much. English is easier than Italian. Doife. I tried to go to Italian classes and it's a very difficult language. It's super bonito, but it's it is indeed difficult. Pero hay nada más complicado que el francés. Wow, oh my god. It broke my brain. Me acabo el cerebro, de verdad. I don't like it. I mean, I do like it, but it's, it's so difficult. Oh my God, you guys, French. Oh my God, okay. So can I please have Emma help me with number 13? Um, hostels are cheaper than hotels. Than hotels, that's correct. Hostels are cheaper than hotels perfect now can i have ugo help me with number 14. Uh, my sister older than me yes that's correct my sister is older than me Thank you very much, Ugo. My sister is okay. older than me. Okay. Perfect. So now, can I have Aime help me with number 15? This cake is more delicious than ice cream. That's perfect. That's more delicious. Solo voy a poner more porque si no, no cabe. Pero you guys know que it's more delicious. Now, can I have, let's see. Ricardo, help me with number 16. Okay. Uh, this, dress, this dress is more beautiful than the shop. More beautiful than what? Mo uh, no, oh. most, most. It's most. That's correct. Sorry. Perfect. Most. Excellent. Most. This dress no is the most. That's it's correct. Most. No, it's comparative. It's superlative. This dress yeah. is the most beautiful in the shop. Igual, le voy a poner solo most porque si no, no me cabe. All right. But you, you guys know que es the most beautiful. Yeah. Uh, now, can I please have Oscar help me with number 17? Hey, good evening. Hi, Oscar. Good evening. Um, my car is... Oh, it's 17. 17. Yeah. 17. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I uh, seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. T -shirt. This T-shirt. This T-shirt. Yeah. Is is um uh, is bad is very bad is much bad. Why is it comparative for the bad guys? Worse. 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 That's correct. The shirt is worse, but it's worse. That That's the shirt. Correct. That's correct, Oscar. This t-shirt is worse than worse. that t-shirt. Worse. Worse. Bad is an adjetivo irregular. That's correct. Uh -huh. So that means that okay. the comparative and superlative don't modify its form, sino que cambia completamente. Can I have, let's see, dun, da, 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 dun, da, da, da. Brenda, help me with number 18. My car is more modern than yours. <laughs> My car is more modern than yours. That's correct. 
And now can I have Carla help me with number 19? Sorry, the teacher. And I, 19. Um, I don't remember. Um, is Moss? Why? Mm, wait. Wait, um, Serian ni was that's correct, Carla. I want the newest phone in the shop. Newest. He also says the newest, right? I want the newest phone in the shop. Thank you very much. And can I please have Carlos read, um, provide me with number 20? Younger. That's correct. My dog is younger than hers. Very good, guys. Excellent. Now, do you guys have any questions about this exercise? No, teacher. All clear? Yeah. And guys, so now also you might notice uh, that I am in a different place and that's fine. Okay, everything's fine. Uh, we are just going to continue with the class as usual. You may notice that it is a different background or, and they do everything, but allow me one moment. Okay, there we go. So now, uh, you may notice that it's a different place. However, everything's fine, everything's good. Uh, I just needed to take care of some stuff. So I am in a different place and I am going to be in this place tomorrow as well. Um, I'm going to be giving the class tomorrow here as well. Um, so I just want to let you to like talk about it. The elephant in the room, you know, it's a different setting, but Everything stays the same. All right, so uh, since there are no questions about this exercise, ya que no hay preguntas sobre este ejercicio, allow me to go ahead and share my screen. Déjenme compartirles mi pantalla. And as you can see, we are now in the middle of section four. And we have finished the comparison with adjectives topic. And now we are going to be moving on to distance and measurements. We have a brief, breve, we have a brief um, topic about pronunciation, which is this one. ¿Cuál es este? Y este solo es un tema sobre la pronunciación when you guys are making a question, right? For example, which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting? Korea, Brazil, or Greece. Y es como la entonación que le damos a las palabras para entender que estamos haciendo una pregunta, right? Because, um, pues, cuando estamos escribiendo podemos poner el signo, pero cuando estemos hablando tenemos que hacer entender que estamos diciendo una pregunta, porque si no, nos van a caer, ¿qué me estás diciendo o me estás preguntando? So, which city, uh, which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? No vamos a decir, which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Ya tenemos la pregunta de which city, right? Pero we need to make sure that they understand that we are making a question. 
Is that okay? Se comprende esto, guys? Yes, it yes. can. Awesome. Okay. So you guys can review this video on the platform. Eh, disculpen si se cayó un ratito que no se podían ver los videos. Esto no era problema de la plataforma, era un problema de YouTube, but it is fixed now. Creo que ya se solucionó. And you can continue working on the platform as usual. So now that we have covered that, we are going to go ahead and move on to the next topic, which is distance and measurements. And that is 4.10. So can I please have two volunteers to read this conversation? Hey, teacher, Oscar. Excellent, Oscar. Can Matt? Me, Susan. Excellent, Susan. Thank you very much. All right. So can I please have Oscar B. Scott and Susan B. Beth? Let's go, guys. OK. I am going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I from New Zealand. Oh, I did. No, that so what it's like there. Oh, it's beautiful. It, it's as a lot of farms and it's very mountainous. <laughs> Hello. 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 Yo leí, bueno, oh, it's beautiful. Is It has a lot of friends and it is very mountains. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about there, uh, three, 300, yeah, three. 3,800. Okay, thank you. 3,800 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from from Sydney. Well, maybe I shall visit you next year too. Thank you, guys. All right. So, guys, allow me to ask you. Déjenme preguntarles antes de hacer el review de esta conversation. Have you guys um, ever han visto por su cuenta un video or like an image on the names of the countries around the world in English? ¿Han visto alguna vez algún video o alguna imagen sobre los nombres de los países en inglés? No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. I understand, guys. All right. So I'll try to look one for you and send it to you. Uh, all right, guys. So remember. Los nombres en, de los países en inglés, hay algunos que tienen su propio nombre ya convertido en inglés, right? For example, Australia, uh, claro, se escribe igual, but in English, we are going to go ahead and say Australia. Australia, like an O, como una O, Australia. And then New Zealand, para nosotros es Nueva Zelanda, so that's New Zealand. Hay muchos países que mantienen su nombre. For example, the, um, the South American and the Central American countries, la mayoría mantenemos nuestros nombres. For example, El Salvador, Honduras, um, Nicaragua, Panama, uh, Guatemala, um, Costa Rica, 
Venezuela, Argentina. Bueno, Argentina sí cambia. Argentina, Argentina, Chile. Uh, let's see, uh, Peru, Brasil. Brasil sí cambia porque se escribe con Z. Con Z. Yeah, so that is Brazil. Um, the Guyanas, right, etc., etc. Uh, but the rest of the world, they usually have a name in English. So, hagamos un pequeño paréntesis, guys. For example, we can say uh, for, well, Canada, Canada, right? Canada, Canada, Canada. Estados Unidos, the United States. Some countries that completely que cambian completamente su nombre, por ejemplo, son Islandia. Islandia is Iceland. Groenlandia, que le pertenece a Dinamarca, but still, uh, it's Greenland. Dinamarca, Denmark. Denmark, Denmark. Um, Alemania, ¿alguien sabe? Germany. 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 Excellent. Uh, Francia? Francia. France. France. French. France. 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 French. Sorry. French. 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 Italy. 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 Excellent. One moment. Vamos a pasarlo por Holanda. aquí. Excellent. Now, let's see what Hola else. Holanda. Ne Netherlands. Netherlands. That's correct. The Netherlands. Um, let's see. Russia. 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 Let's see. Russia. Russia. That's correct. Russia. Um, Las Islas de Filipinas. The Philippines. The Philippines. <laughs> eh, ¿Quién me dijo? Finlandia, right? Finland. Finlandia. Finland. Escocia. ¿Alguien sabe? Escocia, no. Scotland. 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 Irlanda. Ireland. 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 Yeah. Ireland. All right. Next. Um, we also have, for example, bueno, Cuba, lo mantiene el nombre. Jamaica. Jamaica. Se escribe Jamaica, pero se dice Jamaica. Um, Mexico, Mexico, right? Uh, it stays the same, but so it's a Mexico. Suecia. 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 Republica Dominicana. Ah, okay. Very important. Very important. Esto se suelen confundir casi siempre. Suecia, Sweden. Sweden. Suiza, Suiza. Switzerland. 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 Yeah. Let's see, Switzerland. 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 Excellent. Switzerland. Switzerland. ¿Cuál me dijeron? República Dominicana, right? Yes, the Dominican Republic. You remember, guys. Uh, and then Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, que es Puerto Rico, right? Recuerden que... Puerto Rico y Cuba son estados de Estados Unidos, igual que Hawái y Alaska. Son estados de Estados Unidos, le pertenecen a Estados Unidos. So, Cubans and Puerto Ricans son estadounidenses. They are United States citizens. So, Hawái, Hawaiians, and Puerto Ricans, and Cubans, y Alaska people, La gente de Alaska, Puerto Rico, de Cuba y de Hawái son ciudadanos americanos. So, son estados de Estados Unidos y hay que contarlos también. 
So in Hawaii, it's the same. Hawaii. Oh, wow. Por eso que automáticamente adquieren, adquieren la nacionalidad estadounidense cuando llegan a los mojados, no sé. Es que no llegan mojados, ellos tienen pasaporte americano. Ah. Es Cuba, o sea, Cuba uh, sí. geográficamente es un país aparte, right? Y es una isla aparte, uh -huh. pero es un estado de Estados Unidos. Um. Políticamente le pertenece a Estados Unidos. Okay. O sea, ellos pueden ir a Estados Unidos cuando ellos quieran entrar y salir igual que los igual que los um, los puertorriqueños y los hawaianos um, all right qué otro let's see um, we also have um, Japón Japón really good Japan España China que se dice igual pero se dice China por favor no digamos China China. Korea, Korea. Korea, that's correct. Korea is Korea. Con K. Korea, y tenemos South Korea y North Korea, right? South Korea, la Corea Libre, y North Korea, la Corea que está bajo el régimen militar. Aquí le vamos a poner North and South. Uh, we also have, ¿qué otro, guys? Which one? Noruega. Oh, okay. Noruega. Noruega. And that is Norway. Norway. Now, we also have, déjenme voy a borrar este. We also have Let's see. Norway. Which space is them put here? Russia, Denmark. Vamos. Let's see a map. Let's see a map. Para no quedarnos con dudas. Oh, okay. We have um, Egypt, right? Egipto, Egypt, um, Portugal. Which one? Portugal. Portugal says the same. Portugal. So look, it says Portugal. España. España, Spain. That's correct. España. No tengo Ñs. No tengo Ñ, pero España. Spain. Spain. All right, let's see. We also have Okay, me dicen aquí en el chat. Belgica. Okay, that's a good one. All right. So Belgica is Belgica. Belgium. Belgium. That's correct. Belgium. We have Ghana, que es Ghana, it's the same, stays the same. Igual la mayoría de los um, países africanos se mantienen con su nombre. Croatia, Croacia, igual. Croacia se escribe igual, pero se dice Croatia. Croatia. Cro Croatia. Croatia. Argelia, Argelia, stays the same. Pero se hizo Argelia. Let's see, what else? We also have... Oh, we have... Okay, guys. Ah, Poland. Polonia. Poland. And guys, ¿quién sabe cuál es Wales? Gales. Gales, that's correct. And this belongs to the United Kingdom, right? All right, guys. So those are some of the countries around the world. You guys, los invito a que sigan reviewing these countries para que cuando estén en una en un reading o algo, nos acostumbremos a leer los countries con su correct pronunciation. So 
Australia, New Zealand, and yes, Japan, etc. All right. Thank you, of course. Hicimos esa pequeña pausa ahí para. Well, it's very good. It's very good. Yeah, it's really good, and it's very interesting as well. Yeah. Now. Oh, you see, vamos a review this conversation. All right. It says, I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Uh, I'm actually, uh, actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm, how far is the New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. All right, guys. ¿Hay alguna palabra en este, visiting que no conoz en este reading que no conozcamos? And there uh, is very mountainous. Okay. How did you mean mountainous? Mountainous. Montañoso. So that's correct. Mountain. Montaña. Mountainous, montañoso. I'm sorry, guys, just one moment. Okay, there we go. Perfect. ¿Alguna otra palabra que no conozcamos? Mount Cook. Which one? Mount Cook? ¿Esta? Yes. Es el nombre de la montaña, Mount Cook. Yeah. That's correct. Ese es el nombre de la montaña. Así se llama. Mount Cook. Cuando una montaña es más grande, de, o sea, hay montañas y hay algo, en inglés algo más grande que una montaña. O sea, cuando es más grande que una montaña es Mount. For example, Mount Everest. El monte Everest, right? ¿Alguna otra palabra que no conozcamos, guys? Far, did you mean is lejos? Far? Mm, ¿Dónde quiero ver? Scott, mm, how far is New Zealand for oh, Australia? Yeah. yeah, lejos. How far? ¿Qué tan lejos está Nueva Zelanda de Australia? How far is New Zealand from Australia? Yeah. In Auckland, and Auckland, what is? Auckland? Yeah. Auckland is una ciudad in Nueva Zelanda. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So, distances and measurements. Allow me to share with you this next image. Just one moment. ¿Qué otras measurements do you know, guys? Aparte de kilometers and meters, ¿qué otras hay? Miles. Miles, Feet. that's correct. Feet, very good. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más, guys? Millimeters. Inch. Millimeters. Feet. Inches. That's correct. We also have inches. We have meters. We have seconds. Para el tiempo. Minutes. Hours. Oh, no sé qué es esta imagen, guys. Que los tenía. One moment.
Okay, guys, that's okay. No sé qué se me hizo el vocabulary que les tenía, but what we are going to be doing is we are going to put up the whiteboard and I'm going to share this with you. Okay, so for distance and measurements, para measurements, para las medidas, sabemos que tenemos kilometers and this is length, right? Esto es para largos. Tenemos kilometers, meters, me decían también inches. ¿Qué son inches, guys? Pulgadas. Pulgadas. Excellent. We have miles. We have feet. And we also have for weight, which can be kilograms, pounds, grams, ounces. Uh, what else, guys? Para medir peso. No me vayan a decir una roba, vea. Libras. Libras. Those are pounds. pounds. Yeah. Oh. Gramos, pesos. Grams, yeah. Veamos que esos son los más comunes, right? And then we can also measure. Tonelada, yo también. Oh, yeah. Una tonelada, we can say a ton. Excellent. And now we can also have um, non-specific measurements, right? No específicos. Podemos decir non-specific. Cuando queremos decir está cerca, está lejos, how far is it? How close is it? Y para esto podemos usar, it's very far, far away. It's very close. Uh, podemos decir también, it's nearby. Near, cerca. Nearby, está aquí cerca. It's, aquí, it's nearby. Let's see what else can we use say it's nearby, it's close, far. ¿Qué otra podría ser, guys? Yeah. A little, but it's not specific. No. Mm, but yes, uh -huh, a little of, but I measure something, right? But I measure a little bit of salt. Yeah. Y si nos vamos a meter, uh, if we are going to say things about cooking, también podemos usar como measurements a cup of a tablespoon of a teaspoon of yes yeah, see podemos decir también a mouthful of a handful of y estos son no específicos porque a mouthful algo que nos quepa en la boca a handful todo lo que nos quepa en la mano, right? Estos son no específicos, son más o menos solo para tener una idea de la medida. And this can help us uh, measure places or distances. For example, my house is two kilometers away from the university. Or, so my house is fairly close to the university. Está más o menos cerca de la universidad. Podemos decir eso también. It's fairly close. Y esto es un adverbio de modo. Do you guys remember? Mm 
it's fairly close. So now I can also say that um, the distance between my father's house and my house is of um, three blocks. Esa puede ser otra medida, no tan específica, pero que sí nos puede decir. Podemos medir en blocks, son las cuadras, right? The store is three blocks away, para medir distancia. Three blocks away, a tres cuadras. I can also say um, that I weighed 115 pounds. Yo peso 115 libras. I weigh 115 pounds. Uh, let's see. Let's see. For example, ¿qué otro ejemplo me pueden dar, guys, using these words? All right, can I please have Jose give me an example? Really close to my work, really close to my house. I work really close to my house. That's correct. And that is a, an example of a non specific measurement, right? I work really close to my house. How close? Ya si nos preguntan how close, ya podemos decir mm, about uh, one kilometer. Ya podemos especificar. ¿Qué okay. otro ejemplo podría ser, Denis? Eh, Denis Manzano. Hello. All right. That's okay. Can I please have then an example, Tati? Hello. Hola. Hi, can I please have an example using any of these words? Mm -hmm. Teacher, um, yeah. I have a question. Yeah, Oscar. Um, for example, um, it a uh, supermarket nearby. Uh, uh, to ask a question, if you can say it's uh, it's a, it's a supermarket nearby. Nearby, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can say that. That's correct. Okay, thank you. Of course, is a supermarket nearby? Alguien nos va a contestar. Yeah, it's nearby. It's just two blocks away, for example. Está a dos cuadras. That's correct. Podemos preguntar, for example, to ask for measurements. Podemos preguntar. How much does that weight? ¿Cuánto pesa eso? Y nos van a contestar, oh, that weights uh, three pounds. Podemos preguntar, what's the length between your house and the store? Y podemos contestar uh, 300 meters, for example, o a couple blocks, un par de cuadras. How far is the school from your house? It's very far away. 
O. It is, for example, 300 miles away, which is, very, which is very far as well. Um, y así. For example, otro ejemplo. How much flour do you need for the recipe? I need three tablespoons. Hay alguna pregunta con esto, guys? This are this is vocabulary for distance and measurements. Hay algo que no hemos comprendido? Quiero ver el chat. How many grams of sugar for coffee? How many grams of sugar do you want for your coffee? That's correct. Recordemos siempre, guys, cuando estamos haciendo una sentence, tener un sujeto o algo a que le estamos hablando o algo sobre lo que estamos hablando. How many grams of sugar do you want for your coffee? Or how many grams of sugar do you use for your coffee? How many grams of sugar should I add to your coffee, to the coffee, etc., etc.? Porque si no, estamos diciendo, ¿cuántos gramos de azúcar para café? Como, ¿cuántos gramos? Like, like we sound like a robot, right? No es que necesariamente esté súper equivocado, but no nos van a comprender. So let's remember to always have a subject. We are talking to or about. All right. ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta sobre este tema, guys? ¿Algo que no les quede claro? Or do you understand this vocabulary? ¿O algo que quieran saber cómo se diría? All right. So, Jose dice, how many... Let's remember. How many centimeters have one meter. ¿Cuántos centímetros tiene un metro? Es lo que me estaba preguntando, right, José? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, so in that case, we would have to say, primero que nada, how many, porque si no estamos how preguntando many? como one centímetros. Exactly. So, yeah, so how many uh, centimeters are in one meter? Okay. Thanks. So vamos a poner aquí. Right here. How many centimeters? How many centimeters are in one meter? ¿Cuántos centímetros hay en un metro? How many cent how many cent ugh, oh my god, how many centimeters? Centimeters, there we go. How many centimeters are in one meter? Excellent. ¿Qué más me decían? Let's see. How many grams of sugar this is coffee? ¿Qué me quiere decir, Tati? ¿Qué me quiere decir, Tatiana? Con esa pregunta. How many grams of sugar this is coffee? Let's see. Espero su respuesta, Tati, para poder aclararlo. And how far at the beach? All right. Eh, Hugo, la pregunta sería que qué tan lejos está la, está la playa? How many long? Correcto, teacher. Correcto, teacher. I understand. So in that case, we would have to say, how far is the beach? ¿Qué tan okay. lejos está la playa? Excellent, Hugo. Okay. Excellent. How many blocks do you walk to go to the supermarket? Perfect. Yes. Excellent. Bravo, Denise. How many blocks do you walk to go to the supermarket? 
perfect, excellent. Para formular mejor la pregunta que hice, estoy afónica. No, oh, I understand, Tati. I just want to understand. ¿Cuál sería su pregunta? Si me la puede escribir en español para yo comprender qué es lo que me quiere decir. To how many grams of sugar this is coffee? Porque no comprendo cuál es la pregunta. Porque no entiendo to how many grams of sugar this is coffee. Oh, okay. Oh. So in that case, how many grams do you want to cook? Teacher. Entonces, si decimos, ¿cuántos gramos de azúcar para este café? Sin decir para tu café o para mi café. Si so, para este café, podríamos decir, how many, no, este color ya lo usé. Mm, este. How many grams of sugar? For this coffee, for, para, for this coffee. Y si decimos que usted quiere para su café, how many grams of sugar do you want, do you want? for your coffee? For your... Yes, mm -hmm. alguien más me iba a hacer una pregunta. Yes, teacher. Me, yeah. Dennis Castro. Hi, Dennis. Y para para, hi, teacher. Para decir eh, cuántas eh, cucharadas, por ejemplo. How many tablespoons? Tablespoons. Yes. O cucharadas o cucharaditas. Tablespoon es la cucharada and teaspoon es la cucharadita. So, how many tablespoons of um sugar do you want in your coffee or how many teaspoons of sure. cinnamon de canela how many teaspoons of cinnamon do you want you see teaspoon yeah. como se escribe para cucharita así uh, así como hasta aquí teaspoon teaspoon yeah okay thank you teacher of course mm. Yes. ¿Alguien más iba a hacer otra pregunta? I want to watch one example. Um, how can I use clothes? Of course. All right. Solo uh, una aclaración cortita, repita. Uh, you want to see one example. This is very important. You watch movies. You watch the TV. You watch okay. videos and you see something. You see an example. Can I see an example? Can you provide mm -hmm. me with an example? Can you give me mm -hmm. an example? Uh, and you watch something like for entertainment, mm -hmm. right? All right. So mm -hmm. with clothes, right? Yes. Thank you. Okay. So you can say, for example, mm -hmm. En una pregunta y en una respuesta, you can say, how close is the supermarket? Y alguien me puede contestar, oh, it's very close. Oh, oh, it's, it's nearby. Y hoy, en una oración positiva, we can just say, um, The store is very close to my house. Yeah? Está, bastante, está cerca. Oh. Sí. Para preguntar cuánta medicina debo tomar. Okay, so this is a very good question. For medications, for medicine, usually we have the following things to measure them. Claro que nos dicen tantos gramos, tantas cosas, tal, tal, pero las pastillas, pues vienen en pastillas, en tabletas, etc. Right? Y a veces ni nos fijamos de cuánto es cada pastilla. So we have tablets, we have pills, tabletas, píldoras, um, and those are the 
main um, things. Yes, we have jarabes, we have syrups. El jarabe para la tos, for example, is cough syrup. Y para los que son líquidos, pues nos dicen, tómese una cucharada o una cucharadita, right? Take a tablespoon or a teaspoon of cough syrup. Y para las tablets or, o las pills, las tabletas y las pills o las capsules. Las cápsulas, capsules. Y cada cápsula, tableta o píldora puede ser de 5 grams. Puede ser de 10 grams, de 1 gram. Depende del medicamento, pero así lo podemos pedir. How many pills do I have to take if I have a cough? Si voy al doctor y le receta una medicina. Okay, and how many pills do I have to take? And how often? Y qué tan seguido? Y el doctor le va a decir, oh, take two pills of five grams every six hours. Por ejemplo, es algo que les puede decir un doctor. Take two pills of five grams every six hours. Yes, see. Sí. Oh, I understand. Close the cerrado. Oh, I understand. Yeah, no. Uh, solo close. La única vez en que va a ser cerrado es cuando es closed. Closed. Esto es cerrado. Close es cerca. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Yes. Yeah, you're welcome. That's fine. Now it is 10 p.m., guys, and I would just like to make sure, um, and so that I remind you once again to please work on your platform. Ahorita que ya estamos más personas, I do want to say that remember that. At this point, ya deberíamos de ir haciendo por lo menos, por lo menos, por lo menos ya el midterm ya hecho o haciéndolo. And because tomorrow we are going to be finishing section four. Mañana terminamos la section four. And hopefully, yo espero que podamos comenzar la section five para que al final de la next week on Wednesday, el miércoles, hayamos terminado la section five. And we can use Thursday, que sería el último día de este module, el jueves, on Thursday, to do a whole recap de todo el module para ver si todo nos ha quedado claro, si tienen alguna duda de cualquier tema. So we can see that uh, on that day. And also do the review for the final exam, which you will do on your own. And the final exam is next week, guys. We are and we will be done with this module. It's done. It's almost done. It's next week. Tomorrow is our Friday. Porque hoy es miércoles, mañana es jueves. Último día de la semana for us. So thank you guys for having this class with me today. And see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night, everyone.